A very good evening to one and all present here. I'm Priya and working as an assistant professor in the Department of Biochemistry. Today, I'm going to take a class on the topic structure of protein. So, protein is nothing but it is a polymer of alpha amino acids. alpha amino acids. Here alpha refers to the first carbon atom of the amino acid. So, polymers are nothing but it is the substances with a molecular structure of large number of similar subunits. So, this is known as protein and here it this protein has four levels. One will be primary structure and second one will be secondary structure, third one will be tertiary structure and fourth one will be quaternary structure. So, here this uh, regarding this uh, primary structure it is the linear element of the protein where it acts as a backbone of the protein. So, here the structure will be like this and uh, coming to the secondary structure it is the spatial arrangement by twisting the polypeptide chain. So, it will be like this. Then for um, tertiary structure it is the three dimensional structure of the functional protein. So, it will be like this ok and then quaternary structure two or more polypeptide chains forms a subunit and that subunit is said to be quaternary structure. So, it is clear. So, now moving on to the primary structure. Again this primary structure has some four stages sorry three stages. One will be determination of amino acid composition. Amino acid composition and second one will be degradation of protein. And third one will be determination of amino acid sequence. Determination of amino acid sequence. So, first in this determination of amino acid composition, uh, this amino acid on hydrolysis, it liberates. So, this pro amino acid on hydrolysis liberates amino acids and then regarding this degradations of proteins, here proteins have to be degraded. So, uh, we all know that proteins are made up of amino acids. So, amino acids are linked by a peptide bond. So, for uh, degrading this protein we need two cleavages, one will be chemical cleavages and other one will be enzymatic cleavage. So, for chemical they will be using acid or alkali. And for enzymatic they will be using trypsin or chymotrypsin. Then for determination of amino acid sequence Sanger's reagents are used. For this, here we will be using 1 fluoro 2 4 dinitro benzene. So, this on hydrolysis leave free amino acid.
free amino acid and the product what we will be getting is dinitrophenyl amino acid and this dinitrophenyl amino acid is identified by chromatography. clear then moving on to the secondary structure so for secondary structure i have already told you that it is the spatial arrangement by twisting the polypeptide chain for this the main structure will be first will be alpha helix and second one will be beta pleated sheet. So, for this alpha helix the structure of proteins will be like this and there will be an amino group. So, like this it will be. So, in each side there will be an amino acid. This one represent the amino acid and this bond represent the hydrogen bond that is C terminal of oxygen and N terminal of hydrogen there will be a linkage that linkage is said to be hydrogen bond and for each helix it will produce that is for each helix it will produce 3.6 amino acid uh, residues residues per turn ok and this spiral this one spiral contains 0 0.56 nanometer ok and then moving on to beta pleated sheet again this sheet will contain carboxylic group amino group and then carboxylic group again here amino group carboxylic group like this. So, again there will be a bonding here. So, as I have told you earlier the carboxyl group of oxygen will get binds with the amino group of hydrogen and this is the uh, hydrogen bond. So, here there are parallel structure and anti parallel structure. So, parallel here is nothing but N terminal will bind with the C terminal for and again uh, C terminal and again N terminal will bind with the C terminal. So, this is said to be parallel. If it is unparallel means N terminal will binds with C terminal and C terminal will binds with N terminal. So, this is said to be anti parallel. Then next one will be tertiary structure. So, as I have told you earlier the tertiary structure is nothing but three dimensional structure of the polypeptide chain or three dimensional structure of the functional protein. So, for this example will be myoglobin. So, myoglobin oxygen is supplied to the muscle the structure will be like this as I have told you earlier. Then for a quaternary structure example will be hemoglobin. So, this one will be the alpha subunits and again this one will be the alpha subunits and this one will be the beta and this one will be the beta. Here one side will be carboxylic acid and one side will be amino group ok and then bonding will be here. Again here in amino group and carboxylic group. So, bonding will be here. So, this is the uh, example for quaternary structure. Then uh, finally, the applications of protein will be or uh, the functions of protein will be respiratory mechanism hormonal production
and it also acts as a enzyme. Then mainly it is the bodybuilders. That's all about this structure of protein. Thank you.